Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eric Connert and I'm Netta Irampur. We're going to start this hour with breaking news. A big announcement from the governor, Gavin Newsom. Youth and adult sports competitions will be able to resume soon in some counties. Yeah, the governor made the announcement here just within the last hour or so. News 8's Chris Grove joins us live. And Chris, you and I were just talking about the uh, case requirement here that the governor has uh, set forth and whether we currently qualify. So what have you learned? Yeah, and actually we don't qualify technically right now. Yes, we are in that purple t purple tier, which does allow for some of these outdoor sports to continue, but the case rate needs to be at 14 or below. However, we're at 22.2. Now that case rate per 100,000 has dropped dramatically within the past couple of weeks, so it is a potential that we could have the necessary requirements in place by February 26 when these uh, guidelines essentially go into place. But a lot of this is required to have testing sort of back this all up, right? Well, that can be pretty costly, especially for a lot of these school districts dealing with uh, pandemic related costs. Well, the state and Governor Gavin Newsom announcing that the state will be taking care of those testing costs. There are components in our reopening plan for youth sports that do require for high contact sports like rugby, like water polo, yes, like football that we have some testing requirements the state of California will provide for. We will absorb the cost. We will provide those tests. And so let's go through some of the key points here of these updated guidances. So outdoor high contact and moderate contact sport competitions may resume in the red and purple tier so long as that case rate is at or below 14 per 100,000. Now, Weekly testing will be required for those high contact outdoor sports. Sports where essentially the players, uh, either adults or youth, will not be able to kind of separate and will constantly be kind of on top of each other. Think of sports like football, rugby, water polo, where it's not possible to wear that facial covering. So that's going to be required for, for participants ages 13 and over, again, in counties with that case rate between 7 and 14 per 100,000. Now, the results of those tests. They're going to have to be made available 24 hours after completion. And again, that is for both participants as well as coaches. Now, the other kind of tricky thing here is outdoor moderate contact sports, such as baseball, cheerleading, and softball. We're being told that those can be played in counties without the testing requirement. But what's not clear yet, which we're still trying to get some clarity, including those that have been fighting, like those in the Let Them Play campaign, they're fighting for this clarity. If that means that in case in the case rate discussion, if those moderate contact sports can resume play on February 26 in counties that don't have that case rate at 14 or lower, or if they are all lumped into the same requirements. So we're going to try to get some answers from that. I know that the let them play group will be holding a media briefing, a virtual media briefing coming up here in a little less than a half hour. We'll have that here on News 8 for you and our social media channels. But for now, we're going to send it back to you, Eric Anetta.